Hey friends, I was thinking I'd make a video just to walk us through this big project because when I first looked at it a couple of, I don't know, a month ago when Ms. Kalinda showed it to us, I was like, wow, that's intimidating. You could tell um, she spent like a couple weeks this summer making this thing and I was intimidated. And then I realized, no, actually, all this really is, is three assignments of your choosing, three little things for you to do, all bundled together for one test grade. Okay, that's really all it is. So uh, these are your uh, nine choices. Do one blue, one yellow, and one white, whichever one you want to do. And for a lot of these, there's a high-tech version and a low-tech version. It doesn't matter. It's up to you what style you prefer. Are you the kind of, of learner that wants to make like a, a TikTok flip grid video? Are you the kind of kid that wants to make a website? It's up to you. It's literally up to you. Um, this is a learning menu, a choice board. Uh, one thing I want to draw your attention to is uh, the rubric. It seems uh, pretty heavy, and it kind of is, but um, really it's just like you're going to get a 90 on this test grade if you just do the three things, the three misconceptions. So if you just do those three misconceptions and, and tell us why those are false statements, uh, you're going to get a 90. The way you might not get a 90 is um, if you kind of submit it wrong, if you make me have to like pester you to like share it with me correctly, I'll talk about that in a second, that you might lose some points there. How can I get a hundred is if I go above and beyond. So I add some creativity uh, to component to it. If I give different examples of different organisms or at a cellular level and at a body level, if I go above and beyond all the way down, got to get all masteries all the way down, that can give you a hundred. But if you just do the minimum, if you just do it right, not the minimum, if you just do the expectation, you'll meet that, that, that uh, proficiency and you'll get a 90, okay? So there's the rubric. One place where you might lose points is um, if, you're, if, you're, um, if I'm having to chase you down to share it with me correctly. So let's, let's talk about that real quick. What are you actually turning in? You're not turning in this. You're not turning in your website. You're not turning in your comic strip. You're turning in this form. This form is where you're going to link your responses. So let's say your name, your first name is blue, 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 and your last name is Flabbity Flibbity, and you're in seventh period, obviously. She made this up from the word eight periods. And so for the first one, let's say that you made a claim evidence reasoning uh, um, document. You made that doc, maybe it looks like this, and uh, you 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 uh, you answered out. You gave a claim. You gave evidence. You gave reasoning. Uh, for me, for for science, if there's not numbers, if there's not data in your evidence, like what are you doing? So I want to see some numbers for that evidence. Um, and so here's where you might lose some points. Share it with me the right way. Go to share, and um, make sure that when I click on here, anyone in NEISD is a viewer. If you did it that way, I got it. Also, you can just share it with Marshall Hester. I, I, I can't do it when I type in Hester, it comes up as me. But like if I just type in Hester, I could share it with my daughter, no, or I can share it with my son, no. I don't know who these Hesters are, obviously can fake. Um, so make sure on all of these things, depending, no matter what you're doing, make sure you, you change the settings so that I can view it. Uh, if you're doing a website, the website's public. If you're doing a picto chart, infographic you have to mess with the sharings the, the share settings make sure i can see it okay so um you just copy the link right there i don't know what it is blah blah and i um go to the next one and on the next one i did a uh, collage for that uh, uh um misconception again so maybe this is what my this is what my collage looks like i'm not doing so good you're supposed to have like five and you need to have captions and what the heck does this pirate have to do still make sure you do your share settings share it yes oh cool i forgot to name it um see google tells me and then make sure that anyone isd can be a viewer and go ahead and and share with with hester so that that's what you're doing you go through and choose which one you want to do you um Share it with me the right way, turn in that form, and um, you'll be good. So how proteins aren't used for energy, not all lipids are bad, that's wrong. And lipids and fats that aren't for energy, those are, have other functions. P choose the way that you want to prove those misconceptions are wrong, share it with me the right way, and you'll get a 90 on that test grade. I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the virtual space. Bye.